Um, so today I will be doing an apple cake. It's going to be a part of my all things apple playlist. Make sure you guys check it out. I will be sure to include those videos in a playlist in this video. But let's get started. So right now I have my oven preheating to 325. I'm right here in this bowl in my mixer. I have two cups of all purpose flour and one and a half cups of cake flour. So now I'm going to add my cup here of dark brown sugar. Just going to dump it in there like that. I'm also going to add half a cup of white granulated sugar. This will be an apple pie bundt cake, so I have my apple pie spice here. I'm going to add about three teaspoons of this to the mixture. About one. Two. Three. Next thing I'm going to add is going to be about a teaspoon of salt. And I'm also going to add a teaspoon of baking soda. So, I have my whisk attachment here. So what I'm going to do now is blend all this together and then I will be adding my eggs. So, here we go. All right, so like I said, the next thing I'm gonna add, I have three eggs here. I'm just gonna beat them a little bit. All right, so I'm going to pour them in here. And again, we are going to blend this together. I'm going to start on a low setting and then increase. So again here, I'm going to scrape down my edges and then I'm going to add my one cup of oil. I will be using grapeseed oil in this recipe. So I have one cup of oil here. I'm just gonna add it in. So again, we're gonna blend this until it's well combined. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be stopping to scrape down the edges just to make sure everything is well incorporated. So here we go. All right, so the next step, I'm going to be adding my sour cream. And I'm going to add about a cup. All right. So here I have about a cup of sour cream. I'm going to mix that on in there. The 
The next thing I'm going to add would be the extracts. So I'm going to be using vanilla extract as well as maple. So I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of maple. backwards I'm sorry that was one teaspoon of maple and half a teaspoon of vanilla So after you have your sour cream and your extracts in, we're going to blend this some more until well combined. So here we go. So here we have our cake mixture. Um, this here is apple pie. I mean, yeah, apple pie filling. Um, I used this for another recipe I did, the apple twist. This is what I had left over. Um, there's also apple pie spice mixed in here with this. So what I'm going to do now is just fold this into my cake. So I'm just going to take, and I'm going to take the remainder of this and just put it in. And just fold it on in. I really want that apple flavor going through this cake. So this is going to be perfect addition to it. I love apples. All right. So we're just going to fold this in to our mixture. You just want to make sure the apples are mixed in pretty well. So like I told you guys, I did have my oven preheating at 325. So what we are going to do now is put our cake in our bunk pan and get ready to bake this. I'll put this to the side. So here we have our bunk pan. I've sprayed it down with Baker's Joy spray. So now we're just gonna pour our cake into the pan. Trying to make sure I get all the goodness out. I love cake and I really had a craving for an apple flavored cake. So this is perfect for me right now. And I can't wait for it to get done so I can show you guys as well as take a nice big piece. Okay. 
All right. I think we've got all the cake out. So all I'm gonna do is just take my spatula and just kind of make sure it's even. All the way around. Drop it a couple times to help get those air bubbles out. So now we poured our cake in our pan. I'm going to bake this for about an hour. I have my oven at 325 so I can kind of bake it slow. I don't want it to bake too fast and burn. So 325 for about an hour. And then after it has cooled, I'm going to come back and show you guys the glaze that I'm going to make and pour on top of this. See you guys in an hour. All right, guys. So our cake is done. Here is our final product of our cake. Um, mine did cook an extra five minutes in the oven um, until I stuck the butter knife in it and it came out clean. So this has been cooling for about 15 to 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is first thing, I'm going to flip this out of here. So I'm just gonna go around the edges with my knife and just make sure it's nice and loose, which it seems to be. So what I'm going to do next is take my cake plate I'm going to set it on top and then I'm going to flip it so <laughs> we're going to attempt this here we go and voila we did it we did it so here is our cake it is a little warm still and i want to keep it a little warm so when i pour my glaze on it kind of melts it a little bit i did let it cool for like i said 15 to 20 minutes but i still wanted it to be a little warm so i'm going to move this to the side oh it smells so good i'm going to take my items that I'm going to be making my glaze with. So this is about two cups of powdered sugar right here. To this, I am going to add a little bit of maple extract. So I'm just going to do a few squirts. Um, and I'm also going to add some vanilla extract. And you can add whatever extracts you would like to add to your mixture. Next thing I'm going to add, like I said, I want that apple pie flavor through every part of this cake. So here is my apple pie spice. And I'm just going to dab some in here. And then here I have heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna put about two to three tablespoons. That's one. Two. And three. I'm going to start with the three, and then if I feel like I need more, I'm going to add another tablespoon. But I'm going to go ahead and mix this all together.
So what I'm going to do now is bring my cake back over here. Here we go. And I'm going to take my glaze and I'm just going to drizzle it over the entire cake like so using my spoon. guys our apple pie bunt cake with a glaze um i did put as you saw a little apple pie spice in my glaze as well i wanted to kind of have that maple flavor throughout my cake so i did add that extract so what we are going to do now is slice this bad boy so i have a bowl here i'm going to take my knife and I'm going to slice on through. And take my spoon to help pick it up. Put it in my bowl. I do want to make sure I get all my little glaze. Alright. So we're going to move this to the side. And here we are. So nice and fluffy and soft. So let me try a piece. That is delicious. All right, so here we have it. Our apple pie bunt cake. Um, this is absolutely delicious. As I told you guys before, this recipe is going into my all things apple playlist. I am going to link it in this video. Um, make sure you guys try this. This is really good. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.